is an infinite capacity for pain. This is my... This is my journal. I can be candid here. Candidly, I could not be more miserable. Though opposition is a hopeless task, acquiescence would be worse. The fascination of Germany in this century is the fascination of abomination. You go there to catch a whiff of the smoke that still lingers in the air. Camp Concentration! By Thomas M. Dish, 1968. This is Dish's fourth novel in the late 1960s. We start with his debut novel, The Genocides. Then we have Mankind Under the Leash, Echo Round His Bones, and then Camp Concentration. Four challenging and remarkable novels. And the most challenging of these novels is Camp Concentration. This is not an easy novel to read. You need to slow down and take your time. It is written in the form of a journal. It reminds me a bit of a novel that just came out a year or two before it, Flowers for Algernon. In Flowers for Algernon, the structure of the journal started and it went around to a high point and then came back down like a circle to the beginning point. The structure for this novel, though, is we start and it's more like a bell curve, except at the top of the curve, it just falls down. This is one of the quintessential New Wave novels. It was first published in parts in the New Worlds magazine, edited by Michael Moorcock. The novel is set in a future war, at least future from the 1960s. It seems like a continuation of the Vietnam War, but with more and more countries around the world. The United States president is now Robert McNamara. We see indications of war crimes by the United States. Our protagonist is a conscientious objector by the name of Louis Sacchetti. He is sent to a military prison called Archimedes. But this is not just a military prison. This is a concentration camp where they do medical experiments. They inject their prisoners with a drug-like syphilis. They want to see how it affects their mental acuity. At first, there's incredible progress. Is there a benefit to allowing syphilis to run its course? Or will it result in the death of the prisoners? We follow the progress in Sacchetti's journal. In part one, we have world building and the setup of this prison and this program. In part two, we go into very experimental prose, examining what happens to Sacchetti's mind. The title of this novel is a play on words, concentration of the mind versus a concentration camp. Camp Concentration. In this novel, Dish goes to those difficult places of the soul. Sacchetti is a lapsed Catholic, and so religion, philosophy, and literature play in the ravings of his mind. I read this novel over two months ago, and I hadn't made a review because I needed time to think about it and to reread portions of it. This story doesn't have a satisfying arc. There is world building, but it's limited to the concentration camp and to Sacchetti's mind. At 18 years of age, Thomas M. Dish enrolled in the military. He was discharged and sent to a mental institution for three months in 1959. He is also an openly gay man in the 1960s. When I think about syphilis, I also think ahead of AIDS. I wonder about the stigma 
that Dish faced in the 1960s and 70s and into the 1980s for being an openly gay man? Did it have something to do with his discharge from the military? Was his homosexuality treated as a mental disorder? Is using a conscientious objector and syphilis a way of reflecting on the prejudices of the time? There is a lot to think about in this novel. By the way, one of the covers looks like the back of the head of the author, Thomas M. Dish. I can't get that out of my mind. If you are ready for a challenging new wave read, you may not do any better than Camp Concentration. I give this deeply affecting novel 9 out of 10. If you want to see my other reviews of the novels of Thomas M. Dish from the 1960s, go to my playlists. I have one called Author Dish, comma, Thomas M. You will find all four novels from the 1960s there. Have you read Camp Concentration? What are your thoughts? This certainly isn't a novel for everyone. Until next time, keep reading, 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 reading.